pričekam dok podeli, da mi ne štopate vreme. That leaves us in position in which uh, we are in Yugoslavia having more than 800,000 refugees, 40% uh, of the people population unemployed, uh, 3 billion uh, US dollars uh, damage to our power system and approximately 30 billion dollars actually complete damage of the NATO campaign in Yugoslavia. That is the situation in the country in which we are trying to introduce democratic institutions, free socially oriented market economy uh, to become integrated into uh, European society and different international organizations. And the people that are engaged in that job is something that I will po uh, especially point out. I'm talking about new authorities are, and that is something I guess rather promising, are the people that mostly had nothing to do with the previous communist system, regardless if it was Milosevic system or the system before Milosevic. And what are actually are our efforts and what are our contributions? Uh, to try to solve the problems within the country in the peaceful way, in the dialogue, respecting our, first of all, our international organizations. That Ms. Milosevic is indicted by the tribunal in The Hague, and I think that at some point in time that is going to happen. I also understand the sentiments that are there in Serbia, where people are saying that, well, it's okay that he's tried for crimes he might have committed to other peoples, but we want perhaps to try him for the crimes that he had committed against Serbs, and might be interested in doing that first. Uh, so that political sentiment that is there in Serbia, I think we should have a certain amount of understanding for without taking away the ultimate justice that is going to come in The Hague. Have you met Mr. Kashmitsa already? And if yes, have you not been talking about that? Yeah, we had, uh, there was a very good meeting between the Secretary General Kofi Annan and President Kostunica this morning, where they covered the entire range of issues in the region, uh, including uh, the principles of cooperation with the tribunal. Very constructive and very positive talks.